Hey Lee Tribe, in this video I'm going to show you how to use Keyword Surfer, which is a free extension that will help you find untapped keywords and niches for selling online. This could be for print on demand, Amazon FBA, or even discovering a niche for your new e-commerce business. To install Keyword Surfer, just go to the site in the description from your Chrome browser and add to Chrome when prompted. Now, when using a keyword tool, it's always a good idea to start with a very broad term. This will allow the tool to reveal a wider variety of lower competition keywords that you can research. If you go too narrow or too specific, you won't get much data. For example, I will start by typing birthday shirt, which is a very broad competitive term. But if you scroll down, you can see that Surfer will give me a variety of lower competition keywords that I can explore. The first keyword that caught my eye is birthday shirt for couples. This is a phrase I would have never thought of on my own, to be honest, and it's narrowed down. The related searches section is where the magic happens. Looking at this section will often result in a variety of long tail keywords that have far less competition than the broader term you started with. Let's examine the birthday shirt for couples space. If I'm selling products, I like to check Amazon to see how well they're selling. But instead of typing it in exactly as the tool suggests, I let Amazon tell me what people use by trying different combos. In this example, I discovered that people like to use matching birthday shirt for couples based on the autocomplete. So that's the phrase I'm gonna research. Notice there are 5,000 results. That's a little high for my taste if I'm selling on Merch by Amazon. So my next step would be to look for more specific keywords to narrow this idea down. Immediately, once I start scrolling through the results, I notice that king and queen couple shirts seem to be selling, some with birthday, some without. But the results seem to show that the king and queen shirts without the birthday theme seem to sell the most. And there's less competition, only 1,000 results. At least right now, expect that to change as this video ages. Now that you know king and queen couple shirts are a thing, it's time to come up with a unique idea that hasn't been done yet. Here's a quick tip. If you're going to add the phrase matching with this idea and you're doing Merch by Amazon, make sure your design suggests there's a match like I've done in the example with the arrow. This will prompt customers to search for the opposite shirt because you can't have two shirts in one thumbnail. However, if you're selling on Amazon FBA, you can list both shirts in the thumbnail, which is obviously ideal. The take home for this video is that we started out with a very broad term like birthday shirt and ended up with a completely different idea. And that's okay. That's what happens with keyword research and you should never be too married to an idea until you've done some research. I hope this video gave you guys some insight on how to use these keyword tools to find less competitive phrases so you can get more traffic and sales without depending solely on advertising. The money is in the long tail. You have to narrow down. Thanks for watching you guys and I'll talk to you later. And by the way, if you enjoy my teaching style, be sure to check out my t-shirt courses at PassiveShirtProfits.com. Later Gators!